Now, lots of, how have you heard of the racehorse trainer, Ellen Challoner? Well, if not, you're not alone. Very few have. She was the first woman to have a license to train horses in Newmarket. She died during the Second World War and was buried in an unmarked grave. And to mark International Women's Day today, it's been announced a new race will be run in her honour at this year's Guineas Festival. And Tom Williams has been looking at her remarkable story. All alone, in an unmarked grave at Newmarket Cemetery, lies Ellen Challoner. A trailblazing trainer and the first woman to hold a permit to train racehorses in 1886. I believe she was a very formidable lady. She was very well known in Newmarket, um, not just because she was a, a lady trainer, but I believe she was a very good judge of horse flesh. She was very deaf in her old age, and um, if you had a conversation with her, it was always at, at many decibels, and so, you know, it wasn't private at all. The entire race course could hear what she was talking about. Ellen trained here at Osborne House. Her father trained horses, so did her husband. Sir Mark Prescott now owns the stables, which still look and feel very much the same over a hundred years on. More or less nothing has changed in this yard, from the dovecote to uh, a few little things like the stairs have been moved. But if she walked in here with her son, they'd find their way around perfectly satisfactorily. This was their business, 19 boxes, and they, they could make a business buying and selling mainly. Her father trained classic winners, her brother trained classic winners, and her son rode classic winners. So she was through and through horse racing. Going through Racing Illustrated, um, came across a photograph of this woman called Mrs Challoner. Delving into the archives at the National Horse Racing Museum, the 1891 census recorded Ellen's profession as a trainer. She even tasted success at Royal Ascot. She would have been regarded as a little bit of a curiosity. Um, and um, when she first took over as trainer and her son was apprenticed to her, there was a controversy that actually he couldn't claim his apprentice's allowance in a race uh, because the son couldn't possibly be apprenticed to a woman. So she was definitely coming up against people who would rather that she wasn't training, but at the same time, many people also really respected her. She retired in 1894, but it wasn't until the 1960s that a high court ruling officially gave women the right to train racehorses in Britain. Today, still only 20% are women. They probably felt, you know, they just let it go and gave her a licence because she came from a racing background and her husband had died. So he thought, rather the paperwork, it's easy enough just to hand it over. But uh, after she, she retired from, from, from training, they wouldn't grant a, a, a woman trainer. At the Guineas this year, a new race, the Ellen Challoner Stakes. There's also a campaign to erect a headstone, a proper one, for a pioneer once forgotten, now remembered for her unique role in British racing. Tom Williams, BBC Look East.